Good Wednesday, everyone. Taking a look at our daily weather map for today, you'll notice that we're in the threat for flash flooding yet again today. Not everyone will see it, but with any of these scattered showers and thunderstorms, heavy rainfall could lead to periods of flash flooding. You'll notice that that boundary that we've been tracking for the last several days has just been kind of sagging southward. It's now kind of sagged back to the north a little bit. That's going to reduce our rain chances for today, and we'll talk about that more here in just a little bit. Looking farther to the west, you'll see more heavy rainfall across the desert southwest, with that monsoonal flow and various other meteorological features leading to the risk for flash flooding for their neck of the woods as well. Taking a look at our five-day outlook, you'll notice we've dropped rain chances down to 30% for today. We had that boundary that kind of shifted down and south of us yesterday, kicked off a lot of storms to our west. But they really struggled to get onto the plateau, and all we were left with was a few showers and sprinkles. But that has left us with a little bit of a more stable atmosphere today. So the rain chances aren't zero, that's for sure, but they are down to 30%. Now tomorrow, that front, about that frontal boundary sags back toward our neck of the woods and then eventually into our neck of the woods. And so that's going to kick off a numerous showers and thunderstorms Thursday and Friday. Some of that rainfall could be heavy and some of those storms could be strong. And then Saturday, we drop back down to about a 50% coverage before ticking right back up to a 70% coverage on Sunday. So you can tell by our rain chances when the boundary is close and when the boundary is a little bit farther away. Because when it's closer, the rain chances go up. When it gets a little farther away, rain chances slip back down just a bit. And over the next five days, our risk remains the same. Risk for a strong storm and risk for heavy rainfall. But don't forget that cloud to ground lightning. A lot of the storms we've had this summer have had a lot of lightning, which is rather typical for summertime activity. But just be mindful of that and be sure you move indoors as soon as you hear the thunder roar. You folks have a wonderful day. Keep looking up for even more weather information. Just keep reading along that blog, meteorologistmart.com.